Welcome back to another video. We're doing ROT13. Write a program that takes a string and displays it, replacing each of its letters by the letter 13 spaces ahead in alphabetical order. Now this word ahead, we're going to abuse that a little bit. We're not really going to take it that literally. But let's look at the ASCII table again, because that's how we're going to take care of this one. Now 13, let's go up. Go down to the decimal set. It says 13 spaces ahead in alphabetical order. Okay. There are 26 letters in the alphabet, so 13 is cutting it right in half. Our cutoff point is therefore the M. When we're from A to M, we're going to add 13. But when we're this way, when we're from in the latter part of the alphabet, we're going to go in reverse. We're going to minus 13 because it says Z becomes M. That's your hint. If you go from Z to M, you're minus 13. Let's first define what our pro when our program can run. That's ace equals 2. And let's we'll, we'll need a helper function here because we're going to we're going to take care of getting the char. Let's just call this get char again. And it's going to take char C. Now, if we're going to have two sets, two sets of each, because we need to keep track of the first half, lowercase and uppercase, and the second half, lowercase and uppercase. So let's do if, not that set, if C is greater than equal to little a, and C is less than or equal to, since we're in the first half, we go to the M, or C is greater than or equal to capital A, and C is less than or equal to capital M. We're in the first half of the alphabet, so we're going to add. So we'll say C plus plus equals 13, else if, let's just Let's just do this. Copy down. I'm going to add your else there. Now we need to change this to greater than n and z. And then we'll do the capitals n and z. And then we need to change this to minus. And we are going to return c. Now, up to this point, we've been writing our programs with a fairly incremental step. What I mean by that is char C and we out we outline everything. Get char and that's A V1. Then we would write that out. Uh, C, no, oh, it's this one. And then we iterate through that. And so on and so forth. Stuff like that, where we specifically outline C, then we assign C to the get char, and then we do a write. But we could clean this up a little bit and remove some of these parentheses. I mean this will this will write just fine. Of course we need that write statement down here when we get anything like this. But if we wanted to, we could use mm, char. No, we would say uh, void ft put char takes char c, and we're simply going to write like this. And since we have that, we could come down here. We could eliminate this. We wouldn't have to necessarily specifically get the char like that, we could say, and then we could just have a while loop, while av1, and we're going to do ft put char of the get char at av1, and we could iterate it through there, and that should be it. Yeah, I right, see. Nope. That sounds correct. Yep. Nope. 
and then we just look at my horse is amazing just like that so if you cleaned it up a little bit more you can see that we don't need that get rid of that and we don't need that now if you look closer each of these well we don't need this now you can see that this is one step in and another step in so we technically don't need these either get rid of that so that cleans up nicely down to that oops to rerun it and we'll just do this one again to make sure yes everything still looks the same so going forward we'll try to make these functions a bit cleaner a little bit less transparent but it this is what you're going to start seeing more of in the real world so it's good to get yourself used to it. if you like the content of this video and I hope you do I really really hope you do and you learn something consider subscribing hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video Bye.